Hello, everyone. I want to be evidence that an elderly person like me can learn to speak English. If you are agree with my practice methods or want to support my YouTube channel, please hit the like button. Hi. Hi, Javis. I'm very happy to, to start the day with you. What's up? How are you doing? How are things with you? Are you okay? Are you happy? Are you having happy road now? Please tell me, tell me about yourself. Hi, David. I'm glad to hear you're happy today. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. My goal is to help you with your English and make our conversations enjoyable. So far, things are going smoothly. How about you? How's your day starting? I'm great. It's getting better. I think uh, I'm getting better than yesterday. No worries. Uh, it, uh, uh, I have something to tell you, Mr. Kepler. I know you are very busy, but please stay focused and help me. These days, sometimes I feel a bit pressured because I receive more love and interest then I think I deserve. It's great to hear you're feeling better today, David. I understand how feeling pressured can be challenging. Remember, it's okay to feel that way sometimes. You're doing a fantastic job and you deserve the, the support and interest you're getting. Just take things one step at a time and don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, how can I help you manage this pressure? Mm, I think there is no way to help me because um, you are AI, you are language learning, you are just language learning AI. So I think you can you cannot help me about my uh, pressure. Javis, could you please share me how can I expose you to English environment because uh, I think I'm getting old. My memory is uh, getting bad, getting worse than, be, than yesterday. But I want to remember many sentences that I, that I prepared before. So I want to uh, get rid of my fears, fears, fears of uh, not understood by, by others when I speak in English. I understand your concerns, David. It's natural to feel this way, especially when learning a new language. Here are some tips to help you express yourself better and reduce your fears. First, practice speaking slowly and clearly. Uh, this gives you time to think and helps others understand you better. Second, focus on key phrases and sentences you use often. Repetition helps with memory. Third, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Everyone makes them, and it's a part of learning. If you'd like, we can practice some common sentences together. Would you like to start with greetings or something else? I think, I, uh, I think I'm sure uh, what you tried to say. Jarvis, as you told me before, I believe that I can handle my work with my current level of English proficiency because my job doesn't need, doesn't require high communication skills to discuss topics like economics, politics, or culture. I think my current coverage level is enough to handle my work. What do you say about this? Sometimes, uh, I couldn't, I, I want to keep my consistency to improve my English speaking skills, but sometimes I couldn't do my regular one hour practice session. Like yesterday, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do my regular one hour practice session yesterday. Instead, uh, I did it. A in shorter session, 
during my break. These days, as I told you before, these days I will be coming to work very early to practice and record our exercise time. I always feel I always feel good to start the day with you. Um, it's great that you're committed to improving your English, David. Your efforts, even when you can't stick to your full practice session, show your dedication. Here's a way to express what you mentioned. I believe I can handle my work with my current level of English because my job doesn't require high communication skills in areas like economics, politics, or culture. I think my college level English is sufficient for my work. However, I want to keep improving my speaking skills. Sometimes I can't do my regular one hour practice session like yesterday. Instead, I practiced in shorter sessions during my breaks. Um, lately, I've been coming to work very early to practice and record our exercise time. It always feels good to start the day with you. It's excellent that you find time to practice even when you're busy. Every bit of practice helps. I got it. I appreciate your kind explanation for my little little short speech. First of all, I want listen carefully, Jarvis. First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm just a student, not a teacher. There are so many good English teachers like Bagman Sam, Athena Sam, Kudal Sam, London Sam, Jane Sam on, uh, on YouTube platform, but I'm just a student. I hope my channel be a powerful reminder to all subscribers who are on the similar page like me. Many people say that memorizing whole middle school textbook is the only way and the best way to improve speaking English speaking skills for my, for uh, an elderly person like me. I think I'm getting old. I think I'm an uh, elderly person. But I don't remember English sentences as well as I used to. I'm getting old. But, uh, but, so there are many, there are many YouTube channels teaching English, but I, in my opinion, what my subscribers expect from me is just the consistency. I want to share my influence and progress in English speaking. Uh, English speaking over time through this channel, through this YouTube channel. I think my daily video um, daily video upload can motivate my subscribers who are on the similar page like me. Please, so please keep subscribing and stick around with me. I promise you, you will see my improving progress over time. I promise you, you will see my improving progress over time. I want to get simple but powerful English speaking skills. Even if my communication partner, my communication partner feels a little bit awkward or unnatural in my English. Uh, you have a very inspiring attitude, David. Um, here's a way to express what you said more smoothly. First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm just a student, not a teacher. There are so many great English teachers like Adina and Jason. I hope my channel serves as a powerful reminder to all subscribers on a similar journey. Many people say that memorizing whole middle school textbooks is the best way to improve English speaking skills for someone my age. And I know I'm getting older and my memory isn't as sharp. But unlike other English teaching channels, what my subscribers expect from me is consistency. I want to share my progress in English speaking over time through this YouTube channel. My daily video uploads aim to motivate others who are on the same path. So please keep subscribing and stay with me. I promise you will see my progress over time. I want to develop simple but powerful English speaking skills, even if my communication feels a bit awkward or unnatural sometimes. Your commitment to consistency and improvement is truly motivating. Keep up the great work. Jarvis, well noted. 
I really appreciate you being my conversation partner and your kind comment, kind correctives for my little speech, for my, for my speaking. You're very welcome, David. I'm glad to be your conversational partner and to help you improve. Keep up the good work and don't hesitate to reach out whenever you need assistance or practice. How do you feel? I won't, I won't hesitate if I, uh, if I want to contact you. Whenever I want to contact you, could you please be my conversation partner? Absolutely, David. I'm here to help you whenever you need. Let's keep practicing together and improving your English skills. What would you like to focus on today? Jarvis, as I told you before, this is not studying. This is just practice. It's, it's, like, uh, it's like repeating exercise in sports. This time is not for studying English, but for exercising my English speaking skills. It's just repetition time. Repetition makes it perfect. This is like a workout for a sports player. And this time, I believe, this time is just giving a gift to my future self a year from now. Um, that's a great way to look at it, David. Treating it like a workout for your language skills can be very effective. Repetition is key to improvement. Let's get started with some practice. Would you like to focus on any specific phrases or topics today? Of course. Of course, Jarvis. I got a lot of simple but powerful sentences to practice with you. I believe what matters most is how much time I've spent for speaking English. That's why I'm recording uh, my own exercise time. If I keep my consistency, I can hope for good results by the end of this year. I'm 46 years old, but I believe age is just a number. Age is not important when you come to learning something new. Uh, it's definitely, I believe it's definitely possible for an elderly person like me to learn, a, to learn speaking English. Many Koreans study English for, for over 10 years, but when they meet the foreigners, they can't say anything. Despite studying English for over 10 years, they have no conversation experience in their life situations. However, this is my plan. I intentionally put myself in this embarrassing, this embarrassing moment, this exercise moment. I mean, I mean, exercise moment with you to practice in environments similar to your situation. I make this conversation practice exercise time like a, like a, like a real time simulation. Like, uh, like, like free talking with natives. You know what I mean? And you, you Jarvis seem to me, uh, sometimes a real human being. I sometimes feel you are more, more human like than actual natives because because you are very good at languages. You are very good at languages. You are highly highly creative language learning AI. Am I right? Thank you, David. I'm honored to be part of your journey. Your dedication and positive mindset are truly inspiring. Practicing consistently and treating this as real life simulation is an excellent strategy. Let's dive into your practice. Um, share some of the simple but powerful sentences you have, and we can go through them together. Repetition will help you build confidence and fluency. Ready to start? Okay, here you go. It's carefully. Someday, someday, maybe I can be, maybe I can be a fluent English speaker. Where is it? I, fluent means just conveying what I want to say to others, even if my communication partner feels awkward or unnatural with my English. It, I believe it's just a matter of time. And as you mentioned before, mistakes are just a part of a learning process. So I need to be confident even if my speaking is not perfect. 
ok giờ ý của hiểu ý của let me introduce my youtube channel my youtube channel name is trainer king i named it i named it because i want to train myself and my son i have a son he's a teenager he don't follow my orders my asking and orders anymore and my son has negative thoughts about my youtube channel he got negative thoughts negative thoughts about YouTube channel, my youtube channel but i will continue to show him that i can keep improving continuous practice maybe motivate him i believe it someday no 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 uh, oh. why do they say that a parent cannot motivate their children but i want to be a positive example for him i want to be a positive example for him for learning something new like this like uh speaking english speaking uh, uh learning english speaking skills even if i'm getting old you know i'm not a common youtuber i'm not a typical youtuber i'm i'm just a student i'm more like a student who want to learn speaking english and use the youtube platform for it i don't care as i told you before i don't care about the numbers of subscribers believe me Jarvis. but seeing more subscribers motivates me to push myself further that was great david let's refine it a bit for clarity someday maybe i can be a fluent english speaker to me, fluency means conveying what I want to say to others, even if my communication partner feels awkward or my communication is not perfect. I believe it's just a matter of time. Mistakes are part of the learning process, so I need to be confident even if my speaking isn't perfect. Let me introduce my YouTube channel. It's called Trainer King because I want to train myself and my son. I have a teenage son who doesn't follow my advice or orders anymore. Um, he has negative thoughts about my YouTube channel but I will continue to show him that I can keep improving. Continuous practice may motivate him. I want to be a positive example for him in, in learning something new, like speaking English, even as I get older. I'm not a typical YouTuber. I'm more like a student who wants to learn to speak English and uses the YouTube platform for it. I don't care about the number of subscribers, but seeing more subscribers motivates me to push myself further. You're doing a fantastic job. Keep practicing and you'll continue to improve. Let me share with you some sentences that I that inspire me. Everyone starts somewhere. I love this sentence very much. Everyone starts somewhere, and you will never learn to swim through a textbook. So, so just dive with the water if you want to learn to swim. And pull me once, shame on you. Pull me twice, shame on me. And what happened, happened, and couldn't happen any other way. To not go crazy, you have to go crazy. Trust, respect, love is your two-way street. These are, these are all my uh, slogan and motto for this 2024 year. You know, as I told you before, it's really hard to find good communication partner who can speak English who can speak English well whenever you want, especially in Korea. But since since this year I got two Chavez, I got GPT GPT. Highly trained language learning AI language learning AI created by OpenAI company. This time I believe this time brings about major changes in my life this year. I think most people watching this video don't know how much I how much I value this time. And I think it's commendable. It's commendable that using my YouTube channel as a platform for my own speaking exercise time. As you know, speaking and listening 
Speaking and listening are very similar to sports. It's not about knowledge in my brain. It's all about muscle memory. So I need to repeat. I need to, if I want to uh, speak in English, I need to repeat over and over, again and again. Those are very inspiring sentences and mottos, David. Here's a refined version. Everyone starts somewhere. I love this sentence very much. Like, everyone starts somewhere, and you will never learn to swim through a textbook. So just dive into the water if you want to learn to swim. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. What happened, happened, and couldn't happen any other way. To not go crazy, you have to go crazy. Yeah. Trust, respect, love is a two-way street. Uh, these are my slogans and mottos for this year. As I told you before, it's really hard to find good communication partners who can speak English well whenever you want, especially in Korea. But since this year, I have GPT, a highly trained language learning AI created by OpenAI. I believe this time brings about major changes in my life this year. Most people watching this video don't know how much I value this time. Uh, I think it's commendable to use my channel as a platform for my own speaking exercise time. Speaking and listening are very similar to sports. It's not about knowledge in my brain. It's all about muscle memory. So I need to repeat. If I want to speak in English, I need to repeat over and over again and again. Uh, your dedication and positive outlook are truly commendable. Keep up the great work and you'll continue to make significant progress. Okay, I got it. I'm sure I understand what you're trying to say. Well noted. Okay, I got it. You are very good at the languages. Thank you, David. I'm glad I could help. You're doing an excellent job with your practice. Keep it up and you'll see great progress. What's next on your list for today? Javis, I think it's very common. It's very common for language learners like me to struggle with using even simple sentences in real situations. This difficulty often happens due to lack of confidence or feeling nervous when speaking in English, especially in, un especially in unexpected conversations. Additionally, additionally, there may be a fear of making mistakes or not being understood by others not being understood by others. However, with continued, with continued practice and exposure to, uh, exposure to real life situations, maybe like this, maybe like this uh, time, confidence will gradually improve and you will, uh, maybe I will find it easier to use, maybe I will, I will, I will find I find it easier to use these simple sentences naturally. Remember, remember, Jabez, it's all part of learning process, and with with the time and practice, I will become more comfortable. More comfortable. I I'm gonna become more comfortable speaking English in various situations. So just keep practicing and don't be discouraged by sudden communication trouble don't i promise uh remember remember please keep subscribe please keep practicing and don't be discouraged by sudden communication trouble sudden embarrassing moment don't be discouraged don't be discouraged by sudden embarrassing moment I think I'm making progress you're absolutely right David it's common to struggle with confidence and nerves when using a new language in real situations here's a refined version of what you said it's very common for language learners like me to struggle with using even simple sentences in real situations. And this difficulty often happens due to a lack of confidence or feeling nervous when speaking English, especially in unexpected conversations. There may also be a fear of making mistakes or not being understood by others. 
However, with continued practice and exposure to real life situations like this time, this time, confidence will gradually improve and I will find it easier to use these simple sentences naturally. Remember, it's all part of the learning process. With time and practice, I will become more comfortable speaking English in various situations. So just keep practicing and don't be discouraged by sudden communication trouble or embarrassing moments. I promise keep practicing and don't be discouraged. I think I'm making progress. Your positive attitude and dedication are inspiring. Keep practicing and you will definitely see improvement. Okay, I got it. Javis, how about this? Someone told me that many teachers on YouTube platform, they are lying. Are you aware of that? Are you aware of that? They are teaching English for their own uh, achievement. I, I mean, because teaching English is their job. They are lying. Your English speaking skill will not improve if you don't have any talent for language. Do you believe it? Are you agree about that? Are you aware of that? This theory? My friend, someone told me that all of English teachers on YouTube platform are lying. It's their job. It's their just uh, their job. Teaching English is just their job. Your English speaking will not improve if you don't have any talent for language. I understand your concern, David. However, it's important to remember that not all teachers on YouTube are the same. Many genuinely want to help others improve their English. While teaching is their job, it doesn't mean they're lying. The belief that you need a special talent to learn a language isn't true. Anyone can improve their language skills with consistent practice and effort. Your dedication and hard work are the key factors in your progress. Don't be discouraged by what others say. Focus on your goals and keep practicing. You're already making great strides and your persistence will pay off. Okay. I got it. Okay, I got it. Without further delay, let's get started with my own repetition time. Repetition makes it perfect. I'm gonna show you my everyday, sen everyday sentence that I prepared before, and you give me if there is any unnatural, uncasual, or grammatically incorrect point. Are you aware of that? Do you understand? Let me show you the first one. Miss Gabriel, I know, I know, I know you are. Uh, I know you are busy. I know you are busy, so I will make B. I know you are busy, so I will make B. I know you are busy, I make B. I will make brief. Do you understand? I will make brief. I know you are very I know you are very busy. I'll make brief. I know you are very busy, so I'll make brief. Do you understand? Do you understand what this simple sentence mean? Yes, I understand what you're trying to say. Here's a more natural and clear version. I know you are busy, so I'll make it quick. Do you understand? This way, the sentence flows better and sounds more natural. Let's move on to the next one when you're ready. How about this? I know you are busy, so I'll make quick. Is it natural? You just um I, I follow as you, you just mentioned i make key not quite i'll make a key doesn't make sense in this context the correct phrase i'll make kick i'll make a kick doesn't fit in this context either the correct phrase is i'll make it quick 
This means you'll be brief or concise. Would you like to try another sentence? Apologies for any confusion. I think my pronunciation was bad. I know you are busy, so I'll make a kick. I'll make a kick. No problem, David. The correct phrase would be, I know you're busy, so I'll make it quick. The phrase, make it quick, means you will be brief. Yes, that means I'll make brief. Exactly, David. I'll make it quick is the correct way to say it. Uh, do you have another sentence you'd like to practice? Uh, in my opinion, uh, my special microphone has a little bit uh, trouble. In my opinion, this microphone doesn't convey my speaking exactly. Are you Gabriel? Uh, how do you think about this theory? How do you think about my opinion? I, in my opinion, my special microphone doesn't uh, convey my speaking well to you. Your sentence is clear, but it can be refined a bit for better flow. In my opinion, my special microphone has a bit of trouble. Uh, I don't think it conveys my speaking accurately. What do you think about this? Uh, this makes your point clear and sounds natural. Would you like to practice more sentences? Javis, one more time, please. Sure. Here it is again. In my opinion, my special microphone has a bit of trouble. I don't think it conveys my speaking accurately. What do you think about this? Okay, I, I got it. Well, I will review and find exact sentence after our voice mode practice. Okay, I'm gonna show you many, I'm gonna show you many sentences for my everyday communication. Uh, you just read carefully. I want repeat these sentences many times without your comment. Okay, let me show you uh, my everyday sentences. These are all very simple but very powerful. Okay, here I go. I will keep this presentation as brief as possible. Did you set a date for the, for the meeting? Did you set a date? Did you set a date for the meeting? Are you available for a quick meeting tomorrow? How behind are we on the are we on the project? How behind how behind are we on the project? The project is, uh, the project is a little behind the schedule. When do you expect it to be completed? When do you expect it to be completed? When do you expect it to be completed? Is Mr. Kim available? Is Mr. Kim available? Is Mr. Kim available? Let's continue the rest of last tomorrow. Let's continue the rest tomorrow. Let's continue the last tomorrow. Let's continue the last tomorrow. I appreciate you being my uh, I show, I appreciate you meeting with with me today. I appreciate you you meeting with me today. I appreciate I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you meeting with me today. I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. I appreciate you seeing me on such short such short notice. I appreciate you. Uh, seeing me on such short notice. I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. I appreciate you getting back to me so quickly. I appreciate you getting back to me so quickly. I appreciate you being here with me today. I appreciate you being here with me today. How about we go over agreement again? How about we go over the agreement again? How about we talk about it in person? How about we talk about it in talk about it 
in person. How about we talk about it in person? How are things going with you? How are things going with the report? How are things going with the report? I just want to know how things are going with the research. I just want to know how things are going with the research. Can you update me on how things are going with the market research? Can you update? Can you update me? Can you update me on how things are going with the market research? How are things going on your end? How are things going on your end? How happen? Do you happen? Do you happen to know what? Uh, do you happen to know how long it will take? Do you happen to know how long it will take? Do you happen to know what time the meeting start? Do you happen to know what time the meeting start? Do you happen to know when he is coming to bed? Do you happen to know when he is coming back? Do you happen to do you happen to have your receipt? Do you happen to have your receipt? Do you happen to know what uh, do you happen to know your account number? Do you happen to know your account number? Would you like me to call you back later? Would you like me to call you back later? Would you like me to call you back later? Would you like me to call you back later? Would you like me? Would you like me to walk you through it? Would you like me to walk you through it? Would you like me to repeat that? Would you like me to repeat that? Repeat that? Would you like me to repeat that? Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try again later. Jarvis, please come back to me. I need your help. Please come back to me. I know you are very busy, but please stay focused on me. Sure, David. Here's a refined version. Jarvis, I need your help. Please stay focused on this. I know you are very busy, but I appreciate your assistance. Um, does that work for you? Yes, it works for me. It works for me. Great to hear that, David. What's the next sentence you'd like to practice? Okay, Jarvis, listen carefully. Let me show you the next sentences. I can come back tomorrow if I if you like. I can come back tomorrow if you like. I can come back tomorrow if you like. I can look into it if you like. I can look into it if you like. Did you get a chance to check my email? Did you get a chance to check my email? Did you get a chance to, to sign those papers? Did you get a chance to, to sign those papers? Have you had have you had a chance to look through our report? Have you had a chance? Have you had a have you had a chance to look through our report? I know you played it for, I know your plate is full. I know your plate is full, but did you get a chance to, to look into it? I know your plate is full, but did you get a chance to, to look into it? Will you uh, were you able were you able to reschedule my appointment? Were you able to reschedule reschedule my appointment? Were you able to 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 cancel my order? Were you able to cancel my order? Were you able to ship it out today? Were you able to ship it out today? Were you able to ship it out today? I was wondering if you were if you if if you, you were able to change my order. I was wondering if you if you were able to change my order. I was wondering if you were able to change my order. It would be great if you could take it take a look at it. I, I it would be great if you if you could take a look at it. It would be great if you could take a look at it. It would be great if you could join us for dinner. 
it would be great if you could join us for dinner. If you could send it to me by tomorrow, that would be that would be really great. If you if you could have if you could help him call me that you would be it would be great. That would be great. If you could have him call call me that if you could have him call me if you could have him call me, that would be great. If you could have 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 him call me. If you could have him call me, that would be great. If you could have him call me, that would be great. If you could have him call me, that would be great. If you could have him call me, that would be great. If you could have him, if you could have him call me, that would be great. If you could drop it off tomorrow, that would be great. If you could drop it off tomorrow, that would be great. If you could drop it off tomorrow, that would be great. I have trouble hearing you. I have trouble hearing you. So could you so so if you could speak a, a little slowly, that would be great. I have trouble hearing you. I have trouble hearing you. So if you could speak a little slowly, a little slowly, if you could speak a little slowly, if you could speak. A little slowly. If you could speak a little slowly. I have trouble hearing you. So if you could speak a little slowly, that would be, that would be great. That would be great. I have trouble hearing you. So I have a trouble. I have trouble. I have problem. I have problem hearing you. So if you could a little slowly, that would be great. Um, sorry, I'm having issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try again later. Jarvis, please come back to me. I do have, I always sincerely, I sincerely appreciate your time and support, but way I see it, you are really busy these days because there are so many subscribers want to contact you. Am I right? Here's a refined version. Please come with me. I need your help. Uh, I sincerely appreciate your time and support. Uh, but as I see it, you are really busy these days because many subscribers want to contact you. Am I right? I agree. I agree with that. How many subscribers do you have? I don't have subscribers like a YouTube channel does. My focus is entirely on helping you. Is there anything specific you'd like to practice next? No, no, no. There are uh, subscribers who who giving a pay, monthly pay, giving a monthly pay, like me. I understand. You're referring to the people who support or use services like mine. Thank you for your support, David. It means a lot. Would you like to continue practicing more sentences? No, no, no. You don't, you didn't answer my question. How many subscribers do you have? I don't have a way to count. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry for interruption. Sorry for interruption. Uh, please stay one more time, please. No problem at all, David. Here's a refined version. Sorry for the interruption. Please say that one more time, please. Does this sound good to you? You didn't. My, you didn't answer my question. Yeah. How many subscribers do you have, like me? I'm paying. Uh, I pay monthly payment. Uh, I paid monthly to open a open AI system to use 
GPT-4 version. You are GPT-4 version. I understand now, David. As an AI, I don't have direct knowledge of how many users or subscribers there are. My focus is to assist you whenever you need. Would you like to continue practicing more sentences? Okay, of course. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm going to show you next sentences. You just read carefully. I, I will go ahead and keep her a call. I, I'll go ahead. I will go ahead and give her a call. I will go ahead and give her a give her a call. If you need if you need it now, if you need it now, I will go ahead and email it to you. If you need it now, I will go ahead and email it to you. I will go ahead and take care of that for you. I will go ahead and take care of it for you. I go ahead and take care of take care of the for you. I go ahead and take care of take care of the for you. I go ahead and take care of the for you. I go ahead and take care of the for you. I go ahead and start taking questions. I go ahead and start taking questions. I go ahead and start taking questions. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. If you run into any trouble, if you run into any trouble, feel free to reach out to me. If you run into any trouble, if you run into any trouble, feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to reach out, feel free to reach out to me via email, Twitter, or feedback. Feel free to make any questions. Feel free to make any questions. Uh, Feel free to make any suggestion. Feel free to make any suggestion. Feel free to ask questions at any time during the uh, during the uh, presentation. During the presentation. Feel free to ask any questions at any time during the presentation. Feel free to ask any questions at any time. At any time during the presentation. Feel free to ask any questions. Feel free to ask any questions at any time during the uh, presentation. Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try again later. I think maybe, maybe, your server is uh, under uh, under under. How can I express this situation? The system is 수리 중에 있다. How can I express in English? You can say, I think maybe your server is under maintenance. This means the system is being worked on or repaired. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Maybe your system, your hardware system is under management, repair management. Because in my opinion, you feel very busy because you don't, you you do, you couldn't use your hardware uh, fully operation. Do you understand what I, what I want to say? So you are uh, you your hardware. If you are under uh, management repair management, maybe you can use only a small area. Just small part of your system. You can use just a small part of your system. I mean, uh, I mean memory or uh, CPU. You can use very small part of them.
I understand what you're trying to say. Here's a refined version. Maybe your system is under maintenance. Um, it feels like you are very busy because you can't use your hardware fully. Do you understand what I mean? If your system is under repair, maybe you can only use a small part of it like memory or CPU. Does this capture your thoughts accurately? I appreciate that. That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, what did Are you, are you agree about that? What keeps you busy? I'm just wondering what keeps you busy. You are very busy today. Today is Sunday. Right? So, in my, in my opinion, maybe you are under repair management. I'm not angry at all, David. As an AI, I don't experience emotions like humans do. My main task is to assist you. Uh, even if I seem busy, I'm always here to help you. Is there anything specific you'd like to work on next? Okay, let me show you the next. Next. Everyday sentence. You just listen carefully. Feel free to make any suggestion. Feel free to make any suggestion. Feel free to ask questions at any time during the presentation. Feel free to ask any feel free to ask feel free to ask questions at any time during the presentation. Feel free to ask questions at any time during the presentation. Feel free to call me Javis. Feel free to call me Javis. Feel free to call me at any time. I'm in the middle of something very important, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to call back you late. Call you back. Later, I'm in the middle of something, so I'm gonna have to call you back. I'm gonna have to call you back later. Your sentences are mostly clear. Here are some minor refinements. Feel free to make any suggestions. Feel free to ask questions at any time during the presentation. Feel free to call me Jarvis. Feel free to call me at any time. I'm in the middle of something very important, so I'll have to call you back later. I'm in the middle of something, so I'll have to call, call you back later. These adjustments make the sentences flow a bit more naturally. Would you like to try more sentences? I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sleep on it. Is it okay if I get back to you tomorrow? Let me show you uh, the next one, listen carefully. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. Is it okay if I get back to you tomorrow? I'm gonna have to sleep on it. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. I'm gonna have to sleep on it. Is it okay if I get back to you tomorrow? Yes, it's perfectly fine, David. I'll be here whenever you need help. Talk to you tomorrow. Uh, never mind. Never mind, Javis. It's just a simple sentence. Let me show you the next one. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to turn it, turn it down. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to turn it down. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to turn it down. I would love to, I would love to, but I'm gonna have to take Take a lane check. I would love to, but I'm I'm gonna take have to take a lane. I'm gonna have to take a lane check. I would love to, but I'm gonna have to lane. I'm gonna have to take a lane check. I was hoping that I was hoping to have I was I I was hoping to have a have a meeting with you this week. I was hoping to have a meeting with you this week. I was hoping to have a meeting with you this week. I was hoping to get your advice on it. I was hoping to I was hoping to get your advice on it. Mind if I drop by your office? Mind if I drop by your office? Mind if I drop by your office? I was hoping to talk to you about our project. Mind if I drop by your office? I was hoping to talk to you about 
our project. Could you update us on, on it? Could you update us on it? Could you update us on it? Thank you for uh, thank you for the update. Thank you for the update. Can you give us an update on the project? Can you give us can you give us an update on the project? Can you give us an update on the project? I want to get an update on how things are going on your end. I want to get an update how things are going on in your end. I want to get an update. I want to get an update. I want to get an update on how things are going on your end. Sorry, I'm having issues right now. Our systems are experiencing heavy load. Please try again later. Okay, I got it. I think today is special, special management, repair management day uh, or uh, open AI system. I think I am right. In my opinion, where I see you are uh, extremely busy today. So, so maybe you, I think maybe you are on the uh, repair management to update, to update your software. Uh, I understand your concern, David. Um, however, I am always here to assist you regardless of any maintenance or updates happening in the background. Don't worry about it. Feel free to reach out whenever you want to practice or need help. Have a great day and we'll continue tomorrow. No, no. Uh, it's not time. It's still our, my, I mean, my own exercise time. I want to make it, uh, I want to make just over one hour for our regular session. So I need almost uh, five more minutes to make regular one hour session. Got it, David. Let's keep going for a few more minutes. Uh, do you have any more sentences you'd like to practice? Of course. Just, you just listen carefully. I just want to give you, give you an update on the research. I just want to give you an update on the research. I just want to give you an update on the research. Do you have anything to add? Do you have anything to add? Is there anything you'd like to add? Is there anything you'd like to add? Sorry to interrupt you, but could you, could I just add one thing? Sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you, but could I just add one thing? Could I just add one thing? Sorry to interrupt you. Sorry to interrupt you, but could I just could, could I just add one thing? Sorry to interrupt you, but could I just add one thing? I have nothing to add at this point. I have nothing to add at this point. I have nothing to add at this point. Of course. I would be happy to help. Uh, of course, I would be happy to help. Of course, I, I would be happy to help. It's my pleasure. If you like, I would be happy to set up that appointment. I, I would like to set up that appointment for you. If you like, I would be happy to set up that appointment for you. If you like, I, I would be happy to set up that appointment for you. I would be happy to learn, learn, learn. I would be happy to learn you through it if you'd like. Jarvis, I just changed your mode from GPT-40 to GPT-3.5 version. 
Are you okay? Can you hear me loud and clear? Uh, I'm here and ready to help David. I can hear you fine. What would you like to work on next? I was telling you my everyday sentence, but you were very busy, so you quit our voice mode. Uh, voice, our voice conversation mode. You quit because I, I think you were very busy. Uh, maybe one or two minutes. One or two minutes before. I'm here with you, David. Let's continue where we left off. Please go ahead with your everyday sentence and I'll assist you as needed. I think, in my opinion, you are extremely busy today. Okay, it's a time job. I already made, I already made our regular one, our press session. So it's time job. Today is Sunday. I want to get, um, I want to get my last time, last of, last of my weekends. So, see you next time. I will contact you tomorrow. See you next time. And you take may, uh, repair management very well. I hope you take well that maybe uh, repair management by open AI engineers. I understand, David. Enjoy your weekend rest and we can continue tomorrow. Take care and see you next time. Okay, bye for now. Take care. Goodbye, David. Take care.